Bonjour, this is meteorologist Addie Wentz reporting from Paris, France. One of the most important instruments for weather is a rain gauge. Here is a high quality version that was built from the finest materials available. This rain gauge will come in handy over the next few days as you will see. Here is the upcoming week's five-day Paris forecast. As you all know, the Paris weather is mostly mild, but this week is different, so please play, pay close attention. The weather this week is not normal, and it's extremely dangerous, especially if you live or work around the River Seine. As you can see on Monday, we have a perfect shopping day, so get down to the Champs Elysees and buy a Gucci bag for yourself. And it's going to be sunny with a very little chance of rain at the high temperature is going to be 80 Fahrenheit or 22 degrees Celsius. Monday's chance of precipitation was only 4% with a rain total of around 0.5 inches during the late afternoon. The wind speed will be a soft 2 miles per hour. On Tuesday, it will be a little cloudy, but there is a cold front coming in from our northern neighbors in England. The high for the day will be 56 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 degrees Celsius. This front is pushing a huge rain system that has already dropped a dozen inches of rain on southern England. The system will reach northern France midday Tuesday reaching Paris Tuesday evening. We have a 30% chance of rain and expect less than an inch of rain with winds of, of 12 miles per hour pushing the rain into our area very quickly overnight. Wednesday is when the bad weather will get here. We have one, a 100% chance of precipitation from the system coming from the north the winds will only be a slight two miles per hour, which allows the fronts from our north and south to keep this major rainstorm in our area for the next couple of days. The temperature will, will warm slightly to 62 degrees Fahrenheit or 17 degrees Celsius, but we expect to get over 10 inches of rain, causing significant flash flooding along the river and even flooding many of the subway tunnels. On Thursday, there will be very bad lightning and rain with another day of 100% chance of precipitation. The flooding will only get worse and we expect a record-setting rainfall and flood. The temperature will stay about the same as Wednesday and will be 61 degrees Fahrenheit or 16 degrees Celsius. The river could rise as much as 20 feet above the high water level, making this a life-threatening, property-destroying flood. The southern and the northern systems as well as a light two miles per hour, and wind will keep this storm in our area until very late Thursday night. On Friday, it's going to be sunny again with a 2% chance of precipitation and the wind speed of five miles per hour. The temperature will be a very warm 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 27 degrees Celsius. The rain will be gone, but the flood water will still be here at least through the weekend, and everyone should prepare to either evacuate the areas expected to flood or make sure you have enough food and water for several days. This storm compares to the January 28, 1910 flood that lasted a week and was 28 feet above the normal level with major flooding in the same river area. One thing that is in contrast is that the flood in 1910 was caused by winter rains that flooded creeks feeding the river. In January 1910, there was no significant rainfall in the city of Paris. The 1910 event was so large it cost $1.5 billion in damage, but the result in no deaths. The storm was even used as the backdrop to the 2011 animated movie Monsters in Paris, 
Let's hope this week's rain doesn't make make the movies. That's all my re weather report from Paris. Au revoir.